Good morning, Liberians. This is a program all about Liberia.com. I come to respond to Spoon TV interview with Joshua Blighty last night. And there's something that some of you people don't know about Joshua Blighty. Uh, I baptized for the second time as an adult after ja uh, Joshua Blighty was invited on a refugee camp at Budu Sek by Henry Younger Dennis, who ran a uh, morning devotion that we, we joined, ran a morning devotion together. We invited him that morning to come and preach. And the guy gave a testimony as a second grader. Second grader standing and articulating the, ba the, the Bible like somebody with PhD in theology. But he told us how he met Jesus when he was on his way to go and kill additional children to feed his demon. And, he, and Jesus appeared in front of him with his feet hanging down in his bright light. And God told him to drop the gun and follow him. And from that day, Joshua said his life changed. He began to preach. And Joshua preached that morning after preaching. I fell under the Holy Spirit and asked him to pray for me. And I went to my pastor and tell us, told her that I wanted to re-baptize. That time was Re uh, Reverend Priscilla uh, Gila Union. She was then Reverend Jaya, Priscilla Jaya. Alongside with Moses, mine, and other people when, they, when I got baptized on Kaswa Highway in Ghana, right after the refugee camp. But what I come to tell you this morning, after that preaching that morning at Budusek, around about 2001, 2000, Joshua Blahi, in his evangelism on the camp, goes to the uh, uh, religious leader and tell them that he, he was ready to take the flag of Liberia from the demon, from the hands of the demon, and turn it over to the religious community. And that crusade that night, I was on the field on the, that night. The builders careful, all the religious leader was standing one side, the Liberian flag was here. That just around 2003, I'm talking about, just before 2003. And that ball began to preach and reveal every demonic stronghold, what the former president did, how he buried the flag. And there's some other things that I can't talk here, but he buried the flag in the hands of the demons in the Soul Eastern. And Joshua Bly, after getting rescued by Jesus, decided to take a flag that night. I saw physical fight. I did not see the other party, but I saw Joshua Bly for him to take the flag from where it was to take it to the religious community. I saw there was a battle. He could not move. They were praying, praying, praying until finally when he handed the Flag over to Raven Quarter or uh, 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 Raven Sacred all at the top. I think Pastor Bar all of them on the feet at night. He fell off. He fell down and fainted. I said, they say, I when this account. Ask anyone who can remember what I'm talking about. And after that, he got up. When he came to himself, he told the Liberian people that from that day, that bear was going to be set free. And what happened in 2003? 2003, when the rebel almost took over Chartilla or Monrovia, they came to Freeport. And Ekomo had to stop and tell her how to negotiate her exit from Liberia. Starting the peace process through Joshua Milton Blahi. That way he did. On the refugee camp, that way he had that crusade. And Taylor had to leave the country. 20,000 United Nations troops came afterward. And from that time, people were arguing and came, oh, that guy will soon go back to war, he'll take war. What? When that 2003 war coming, they bribed the king commander seven million dollars, seven million CF in Ghana City, so that that crusade would not be held. But it never, God allowed that crusade to go on. And then after that, Joshua Blahi came to Monrovia, after he left the camp, he started to work with the ex combatant the small soldiers, to encourage them to change their lives, to forget about war. That's what Joshua Blahi did. So those of you who are on Spoon TV and don't know who that man is, that's the modern poor, 
Paul, Apostle Paul of Africa, of Liberia. That's the man that you're playing with. Listen to what our boss spoke last night. Anybody who honor the usher or the Holy Spirit, felt the Spirit. What that boss said last night. I understand tumbling frustration. You understand that you saw Joshua Blay coming towards you and you could have gotten killed. Is that the point that what people who got killed? I was on mama point when Joshua Blay was fighting down. We were on mama point when he was fighting. Down the hill, we could see them down the hill. But the devil reached us. And I can tell you who are controlling Mamba Point at the time I'm talking about. But I don't want to call me. It was Adolfo Dolores who are controlling that Mamba Point around the American Embassy. So the blighty you look here, he's a transformed man. Let me tell you, even he's the first person to come up to, to admit to his fault. And God hands is on our body. Liberian people got hope in their hand, passing around and they the, 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 the put in their mouth on, on Blahi. I want to warn you here today. I gave the testimony because I listened to that, 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 that spoon talk last night. And I saw how people, but I, I, I enjoy the other guy, or what they call, or Ben Sanvi, the, the, uh, the intellectual Ben Sanvi. That, that's, that's my boy. I listened to him, and the other guy, I forgot his name, who appreciated Joshua Blay so much. But I understand what went on with Tomalin. I, I like Tomalin. I, I understand what wrong with him. It's the same Liberian scenario. But I come this morning to tell you, Liberian people, we need to thank God. We need to turn to God. That's what I told you people. Any president, I have endorsed Boaka and Cummings. But they better start be thinking, thinking on how to shut that country down for 40 days so that we can cleanse the blood. And Joshua Blay is there. He should lead that campaign to fight. Forget about the political part of it. Let him pay attention to the spiritual part of it to cleanse the blood of the country of the blood. The blood has been wasted. That's the only way Liberia will be peaceful. I don't care if you can put communists that have been gained trading dollars. Liberia will never shake until we cleanse that nation. Are there any president, including Boaka and, 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 and Comey, to become president and don't cleanse that nation and go and sit there? I will tell you, you will not last there two days. Damn me. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. That's my testimony about Joshua Blahi. You can challenge him. You can ask people who are on the camp. Love for Reverend Sickley and, and Pastor Kwale. They are in Monrovia. Go to them. Go to Quila and look for them and ask them to, 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 to verify what I said when I bought, took the flag from the demons and turned it over. And what happened that night, they were explaining to you. Thank you and have a blessed day.